Actually, Isa, this is called helping, and I'm not in the way. Disney has many hit movies, and Encanto recently skyrocketed to the top as one of the best Disney movies ever made. In fact, it's safe to say that this is one of the best animated movies to be made by any movie house, period. It follows the Madrigal family who have special powers. Peppa controls the weather, Julieta can heal with food, Dolores has super hearing, Camilo shapeshifts, Antonio can speak to animals, Isabella can grow flowers at will, Luisa is super strong, and nobody talks about Bruno, even though he has the gift of seeing the future. I'm pretty sure that you've all seen Encanto at least a couple hundred times. If you haven't, well, you're the odd one out, and you should probably fix that ASAP. But even if you've seen the movie countless times, I'm pretty sure that there are some things that you don't know, as well as small background details that you did not notice. So in this video, I will be sharing some behind-the-scenes information about Encanto that will show you things in a different light. Having all the donkeys, but then when I went to throw the donkeys in the barn, they were... Heavy! <laughs> in Encanto, Luisa has her own song titled Surface Pressure, which is definitely one of the best songs in the movie. There's something about Luisa singing about being stressed that makes her character so relatable, especially to older siblings who often have a lot of pressure put on them. Sure, Luisa's song was good, but did you notice that she was protecting Mirabelle throughout the whole song? While singing about how she was feeling a lot of pressure, like a drip 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 that'll never stop, she was still keeping an eye out for her little sister. This just shows how much Luisa Luisa cares about Mirabelle. This is a little detail that's super easy to miss, especially since the song somehow manages to be catchy and sad at the same time. You were probably so focused on singing along that you didn't catch this tiny fact. Also, while we're still on the topic of Luisa's song, did you guys notice the changes in her voice while she sings? When she's singing about her strengths, about how she's the strong one who isn't nervous and is as strong as the crust of the earth, her voice is strong and confident. This tells us that she is secure in her strength. But the moment she starts singing about her insecurity, about the pressures that'll tick, tick, tick until you just go pop, her voice becomes softer and more vulnerable. This tiny detail proves that even the strongest people have insecurities and weaknesses, and Louisa is one of the strongest Disney characters. I mean, she moves mountains and she can flatten diamonds. Show me one other character that's that strong. I'll wait. To make the candle bright, you have to embrace her! Embrace who? Oh, almost there. The biggest storyline in Encanto is the story of Bruno, who suddenly disappeared one day. He has the gift of pre cognition, which means that he can see the future before it happens. And this gift has led to a lot of fights between him and the rest of the Madrigal family because they just don't understand him. Well, one day he decided to leave the family, and rather than look for him, they just forgot about him and made up a song about how they don't talk about him. I don't know about you guys, but if I disappeared and my entire family didn't look for me, I'd probably be really mad at them. I mean, they basically tried to erase Bruno. But we're not gonna talk about how messed up that is. Well, at least not today. Today, we're going to talk about how Bruno was always right by his family. If you've seen Encanto, then you already know that Bruno was in the walls. But did you notice that he was also in every single poster? He blended in so well that it can be quite difficult to spot him. But if you look hard enough, you'll see him in the shadows. This shows that even though he left the family, he was always close by. And he wanted to feel like part of the family, so he managed to find a way to insert himself into the background of the pictures without the family's knowledge. This shows that even though he allegedly abandoned his family as they all believed, he still still love them. This also shows that he is a good guy because he probably heard his family singing about how they don't talk about him, but he still loved them. I also have to wonder why Dolores didn't say a word about Bruno being in the walls for years. She admitted that she could hear him, so why didn't she say anything? Like I said, that family needs to have a long, hard talk about family values. I mean, they're Colombians, and we know how much Colombians love and value family. The magic is strong! Everything is fine! We are the mother girls! Moving on, let's talk about Abuela's outfit. Now, there are many things that I want to say about Abuela, but I'm just gonna keep my tongue to myself. One thing about Encanto is that the writers, producers, and pretty much everyone involved in the movie brought their A-game, and this has been proven by the fact that the song has won several awards and has been nominated for three Oscars. Talk about impressive! Abuela is one of the central characters of the movie because she is the guardian of the candle, and she kind of united the family, if you get what I mean. But one thing that many people didn't pay attention to is her outfit. 
outfit. You already know that each member of the family has symbols of their gift embroidered in their outfits. If you didn't notice this, you might want to go back and watch the movie again. Mirabelle doesn't have a gift, but she has symbols of everyone else's gifts embroidered in her outfit, which is quite thoughtful of her. Of course, some fans have come up with the theory that this means that she's going to be the next custodian of the candle, since she and Abuela are the only Madrigals without powers. This theory hasn't been confirmed yet, so we're going to have to wait and see. And speaking about outfits, did you notice that Peppa and her family dress in warm tones and red is a major color theme? Of course, there is some orange in there, but red is the main color. Julieta's family dresses in cool tones, with blue being the main color. Of course, there are some other colors mixed in, but blue is the main color. Now, if you mix blue and red, you get purple. And what's Abuela's color? Purple. Honestly, these little details are what makes Encanto so good. No, I'm doing my best. Yes. You're lucky it's not a paragon! If we're being honest, I think it's safe to assume that we've all wished to have some kind of superpower at some point in our lives. This is totally normal, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. But one thing that we never think about is the side effect that comes with the superpowers. Taking the powers in Encanto, for example, their superpowers are probably going to have some side effects, and fans have some theories about what some of these effects are behind the scenes. We already know what the side effects of Luisa's superpowers are, because she has an entire song where she talks about being under so much pressure that she's ready to blow, so we're not going to talk about that. Peppa can never allow herself to feel deep emotions because she knows how badly it's going to affect the weather. She probably has to see a therapist to learn how to control all her emotions, and we all know that therapy isn't cheap. Julieta is probably going to be overworked from cooking for the entire family. If you've ever cooked for a large family, then you know that cooking is very hard work. Dolores' ears probably hurt so much because it's always straining, and can even hear Luisa's eyelids twitching. Camilo probably shapeshifts so much that he ends up with an identity crisis and doesn't know who he really is. Isabella has to be perfect all the time and it can be super stressful to maintain that image. Antonio has an entire zoo of animals in his bedroom and uh, who's gonna clean up after them? Having powers may seem cool, but there's so much going on behind the scenes that take away some of the shine. I gotta put out the stuff. The house isn't gonna decorate itself. <laughs> Sorry, you could. You look great. Now, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Encanto? What's your favorite scene? Don't be shy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and don't leave anything out. If you enjoyed watching this video, then you should give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to our channel, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss another video just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Stop pretending you're Dolores so you can have seconds. Worth the shot. Ah!